it's so easy to forget the Buddha's teaching that our suffering comes from within. We focus so much on things outside. This is dangerous, that's dangerous, this is bad, this is wrong. But we're the ones who are making ourselves suffer over those things that are dangerous and bad and wrong. If we could learn how to change the habits of the mind, we could live in a world where there are dangerous and wrong and bad things and not suffer from them. So we have to look at what we're bringing to the situation. Part of the problem, of course, is that our preconceived notions have us focus on the things that are bad. We look inside, we don't like what we see, so we go looking outside. We go learn how to look inside and develop something good inside. We do have the potentials. Each of us has the potential for goodness and peace and happiness inside. The question is learning how to give them our full attention so they can develop. Not spend so much time worked up about things outside. Even in the best of situations, you can make yourself suffer. And even in the worst of situations, you can learn how not to suffer. The choice is yours. Just learning how to focus inside. Remember, this is where the real problem is. Once you solve this problem, then you can live in the world anywhere. If you don't solve this problem, nowhere is going to be happy. Nowhere is going to be fine. So look at your potentials for goodness inside. They're there. You may end up seeing a lot of things you don't like about yourself, but don't let them dissuade you. Don't let them discourage you. We all have a mix of good and bad inside. Those people who say that our true nature is to be kind and generous, they've got only half the picture. We do have a part of our nature to be kind and generous, and part of our nature is very changeable and can go into other ways. So accept the fact that there's a mix inside, and learn how to sort out the mix so you can find what's really a worth inside, what's really a value. So I spent a lot of time looking inside. And when inside is taken care of, then the things outside just won't have an effect. You know, the Buddha didn't straighten out the whole world, but he was able to find happiness. And he showed us the way. So it's up to us to take it to heart that, yes, true happiness has to find its source within. And focus most of your attention there.